morning, good morning, Jason Nathanson. Isn't the definition of being a baseball fan being tortured? That's too, well, that's a good point too. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other issue. Uh, all right, so this week, do I have to start bad mouthing first man to make sure Lady Gaga gets more um, gets more attention this week? Yes, that's exactly what you need to be doing. Uh, because uh, first man, though, it's very hard to bad mouth this movie. Yeah, you got a lot of good stuff in theaters now. If you haven't seen uh, Stars Born, then you can go see that. Um, but First Man now is the story of Neil Armstrong and his journey to get to the moon. It's from Damien Chazelle, who is the writer-director of La La Land and Whiplash, Ooh. two of my favorite movies of the past five years. Yeah. Uh, and it's also from the writer of uh, Spotlight and The Post, which are two other fantastic movies of the past five years. And you have Ryan Gosling here starring as Neil Armstrong. And this is the kind of movie that you're going to want to see on the big screen. In IMAX, if possible, that's how I saw it, and it's just fantastic the way they take you into the cockpit of these planes that Neil Armstrong is flying, and then the spacecraft as well. It's tense. It's the story is fascinating, and even though we know how it ends, we know he goes to the moon. Spoiler alert: he gets on the moon. Right. Um, it's still a fantastic story of his journey and of what this man went through and his family sacrifice as well. Claire Foy stars as his wife. She's from The Crown. Uh, she played Queen Elizabeth there, and she's fantastic as well. And all in all, this is one of my favorite movies of the year so far. Wow. I, you know, uh, looking back at some of these movies, you have uh, Ron Howard's Apollo 13. You had that HBO series From the Earth to the Moon. I'm so glad that we're sort of rediscovering our journey to the moon because it really was spectacular. And I don't think we've, cru cru as a human race, really understood that we sent people to the moon. Yeah, and you really get a sense of that and how hard this was. And all, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not sexy for a movie, but all the math involved, right. uh, you know, in, in getting there and what we had, these guys had to sacrifice. Truly, their lives they had to sacrifice. Um, and a lot, there's been a lot of uh, talk about this movie not being patriotic because they don't show the actual physical planting of the flag on the moon. And I have to say that a lot of that talk is coming from people who have not seen it. This is among the most patriotic movies of the year because it is about these Americans in this race against the Russians to get to the moon in the 50s and 60s. Um, and you see the flag on the moon eventually, though you don't see the actual physical planting. But what these guys went through, these are American heroes, uh, and this is a deeply patriotic film. All right, so that opens today, First Man starring Ryan Gosling. Uh, all right, talk about this uh, new uh, Matthew Wiener uh, series. Th this looks pretty good. Yeah, this is the Romanoffs. It is his follow-up to Mad Men, and after Mad Men, he could have gone wherever he wanted and created whatever he wanted, and he decided on this show and, and at Amazon, and Amazon clearly gave him a ton of money to do it because each episode, the first two that they gave us, uh, they were they're, they're film-length episodes. They're 90 minutes apiece. The first one is set in Paris. It's mostly in subtitled French, and it's beautifully shot. There's a huge budget on here and a huge budget for actors as well, but this is one of those things that happen when you give somebody who, has, who you, you really like and has done good stuff in the past, you give him too much control and too much money, you get something like the Romanoffs, which is just a sprawling... It's interesting, um, but it's, it's sprawling. It's way too long. Each episode is way too long. And you kind of don't know, like, what am I watching? What's the point? Where is this going? It's lo each episode is its own standalone thing, loosely connected by being the heirs of the Russian Romanov family, uh, who were all brutally killed in the early 1900s. Uh, and all of these people are descendants in some way of the Romanovs, or maybe not. There's a you know, little question there. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just, it's, it's kind of a, a long mess of a thing, which is, Interesting, but not great. All right. Also this weekend, that's interesting. Also this, uh, I've seen a couple commercials for this camping with uh, Leah Dunham and, and Jennifer Garner. Yeah, this is uh, maybe the show that I liked the least of this year, uh, of, of all the pilots that I saw. Uh, Jennifer Garner stars as a type A 
uh, whole, very uh, hyper and rigid and focused type person. Um, it, it's not what you would expect from Lena Dunham, uh, for sure. She's not in it. She just she created it and wrote this. Um, but Jennifer Garner's character is so grating and so annoying. Uh, just really, and it's not a fault of her necessarily. I think it's just what she tries to do the best she can with the material that she's given. Uh, but you just don't want to watch her. You don't like her at all. Uh, the show, I've seen the first three episodes it does get better by the third episode but i can't imagine most people are going to sit past the first all right and what's this alec baldwin show he that's a new interview show from him if you know you know if you're a fan of his you might know that he has a podcast where he interviews people does long form interviews and he's kind of taking that and taking that into a tv show so it's a little bit of an antidote to the late night talk shows where you do five minute interviews right. here you, he let's the interviews breathe, so this will be on ABC on, Mon- on Sunday night. The first two guests are uh, Robert De Niro and Taraji P. Henson, hmm. and it's Alec Baldwin in conversation with these people. Uh, I have not seen it, so I don't know if it's any good or not, but you know, if you're a fan of Alec Baldwin uh, and kind of long-form interviews with creative types, it'll probably be something for you, and if you're not, then you wouldn't watch it. So anyway. you're going to go from Match Game, hosted by Alec Baldwin, to the Alec Baldwin Show on Sunday nights? Uh, right, and throwing a little Trump in there in, in the middle of it. <laughs> and, uh, no, he's not, he's not going to interview people as President Trump, though... That would be, I think, a fantastic show. That would be a funny show. Uh, That's Jason Nathanson. Jason, good stuff. Uh, Busy week. Thanks for checking in. All right, take care.